Hi, I'm Stephanie and this is my home, the 16th century Chateau de la Lande. La Lande was owned for hundreds of years by a family of marquises who were at the heart of French royal life. One of them even had the honour of being sent by King Louis XV to greet Marie Antoinette on her arrival in France. But, far from being a stuffy museum, this chateau is a living home. I live here all the time and I'm regularly joined by my mother, my family, my friends and wonderful volunteers from all over the world who help me to lovingly restore this historic home. Welcome to La Lande, a chateau filled with life, love and laughter. Hello princess. I've got a nice hot crumpet. Thank you. And a nice hot cup of tea. You are wonderful. Wake up and ready to Before fight everybody. We go go. Ready mm. to fight the world. Yes. Here, princess. Oh, thanks, Gerald. I have to run out to see the architect first thing in the morning, and then this afternoon I'll be taking Jerry to Limoges, which I'm not looking forward to. Oh, it's quite a grey, spooky morning here at La Lande. It's really misty. It is such a lovely town. It feels quite exciting to be here this morning, to be going to see the architect. Hopefully we can get on with plans for the facade of the chateau. Well, this is very exciting. Look, the plan of the facade. They're ready for everything that we want to work on. These are the plans for the fire escape walkway outside Mummy's apartment and Michael Potts's apartment. Quelle était votre inspiration? L'inspiration, c'est la ferme de Marie Antoinette avec un escalier tout en bois et licoïdal, et puis euh, un balcon euh, traditionnel d'inspiration de, de l'architecture de bois normand parce qu'on est oui. vraiment inspiré par euh, l'anglo normand très à la mode à l'époque. Oui. Voilà. Oh, j'adore. C'est très beau. On arrive à rejoindre oui. le grand porteau de la grange et on crée éventuellement oh, un deuxième oh, oui. balcon. Et là, on a essayé d'installer une grande baie vitrée oui. de manière à ce que vous puissiez transformer cette grange oui, actuelle cette en atelier, en, voilà, en, lieu, très beau. en lieu de travail. So it's been very easy for us to agree to everything happening in the stables, but we're not that clear on what we're going to do at the front. There are various versions. So here we have a balcony in the middle, which really helps you to see which door to come into downstairs. We have a version where instead we put a balcony on each side and a sort of, well, here we've got the funny hedgehog, but some kind of whimsical escutcheon in the middle. This is much more feminine, much softer and probably more in keeping with the local region. This is more masculine, more fortressy, but it's really we're introducing Verona in France. It's not quite in keeping with the region. At the moment we're veering more towards this but we're still going to try out different styles. We've also decided on the ancient facade to remove all of the shutters and obviously to increase the size of this window. But there wouldn't have been shutters in that period, so we're going to replace them with internal shutters. When we look at other chateaus, these are all in the same region, we see that there, there are no shutters on the ones from, on the early architecture. Every time we're looking at a chateau, we're getting no shutters. Okay, so this is a similar period because it goes up to the 17th century. We start in the 15th, 16th. We should not be having shutters on the old part. And the minute you remove them, you can see it starts to make far more architectural sense. Yeah, that was an absolutely beautiful shutter, goodness. No shutters. We are having so much fun trying different things with the main courtyard and trying to work out how best to use that facade. And it is unbelievable the changes that you can make, for example, just by removing the shutters. Look at the change that this gives. This is the chateau as it is now. We have these old stones, you can barely notice them because the facade is all the same color, but when we redo the facade, they'll, they'll be more apparent. And we considered putting a balcony here, but I'm increasingly thinking it's a shame to remove something that is original, such as these stones. So we then played with this, which I like very much. It's much softer. We can show this is the entrance maybe with planting. We can put a little whimsical escutcheon. 
two balconies to make it softer. And we're sort of going along this, but we're talking about removing the shutters, because the shutters are 19th century. They wouldn't have been there in the past. Look at the difference. We go from this to this. Suddenly it's more chateau. It's so strange how it changed. It's definitely more austere, perhaps a little less welcoming. But it, the whole building looks taller because these vertical lines are drawing the eye up. And here it's softer and more like um, a beautiful maison bourgeoise. And hello, Chateau. Come back to us. I think this is a brilliant one because all of the shutters were added in the 19th century. They weren't there originally. I think we should take it back to what it would have been. But we're still playing around at this stage and I'll be taking all of these plans home. We're going to put them up on the wall somewhere so we can live with them, see the differences, see what we're most drawn to. And then these will need to be removed too. And here, Madame Otisio came up with a lovely idea of, we have this blank piece here. We have no idea what it was doing in the past, but to make sense of it, we can turn it into a sundial. And when we redo the facades, we're hoping to be more in these softer colours rather than the grey that we have at the moment, which obviously is correct for the region as well, these softer tones of the earth. I think that went incredibly well. I have so many plans to look through. I'll go through them with everyone at home. I will be posting some of these on the Patreon page as well, so my patrons can let me know what you think of the plans and which you like. And we can start moving forward and getting quotes for the facades. It's very, very exciting. And now I've got to rush back. I want to spend time with Jerry. I thought I'd only be here for half an hour. It was actually nearly a three hour meeting, but we've been through all sorts of books of chateaus in the local area, uh, trying to find the right sources, discussing what the windows should be like. And we've started working on the back facade as well, which is by far the most difficult. So I think we've, we've progressed a lot this morning. It is amazing how the weather changed whilst I was out. It's a beautiful, beautiful day now. Home sweet home. And as I drive up, I can't help but see it as it was in the plans. I think it's going to be beautiful. These are the stones that we were talking about with the architect. You can barely notice them now, but when the render changes on either side, I think they'll be much more noticeable. And then we can put a nice shield of some sort. We'll invent something for ourselves and have it there. And I think that that will mark the front door really well. And then we can start to do the facade section by section until all of the render has been redone. I mean, imagine how lovely it will be when that missing window the one on the left is back. And then that's the middle section that I was talking about earlier, where it'd be quite nice to put some sort of sundial or something there to make something of that missing space. Whoa, you two have been busy. What? Yeah. What? Does my mother know about this? It was an excuse to use the digger. <laughs> Where are the rose bushes, Dan? So what we've done is, because we need to get behind to repair this wall, yeah. and all this is getting removed anyway, yeah. we took the time to prune everything. We've dug it all out by the roots, yeah. and we're replanting it in those beds for now. Amazing. That we dug. Okay, yeah, so the we new saved, ones. So we saved the everything. The new spare ones, yeah. So, uh, yeah. I think we've, we've saved most of it. Nothing's... The know, irises? Um, whatever we've dug up yeah. we've dug quite amazing few, the iris is up but i we've got a meter square of them all okay anyway so we've got a large great uh, so yeah everything from here has been saved so hopefully then later on davy can work them into his plan you know yeah. like so we can say like oh we've got 20 sage plants or whatever yeah and see what see what yeah. we've got and where it can go oh this is great well i mean it looks really tidy and That's it was always needed, it? it was always a bit um, half-hearted this whole yeah. whole front bed yeah. wasn't it yeah. but we can get to the wall now to start keeping it clear and whatever Great. preparations have been you know have to yeah it's fantastic I get back on the, the the mission to kill the ivy off as well <laughs> yeah 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 wow it's going really well any excuse to use a digger I uh, know <laughs> me with a shovel but I'm yeah. saving your back oh thank you yes yeah, Nothing to do with me, it's my enjoyment. <laughs> Nothing. No. I don't no. even like using the digger. Oh really? No. Yeah. I just do it. It's to just a chore. Out. Uh, yeah. He's so giving. I know, I know, I know. Overwhelming. He's a giver, I know. <laughs>
but I'm gonna go and see if I can spot where they've put the rose bushes. Gosh, the blackberries are really starting to come on well. Wow. They're climbing fast. I can't see any actual blackberries, but I'm sure next year we'll have lots. And here are the plants that have been saved from that border. What have we got here? Lots of rose bushes over there, irises behind, and other things. I wish I could tell you what these were, but I have no idea. I wonder if the very big rose bushes will survive this move. Just have to keep our fingers crossed. It's lucky we had this bed waiting to be done properly because it means we've got somewhere to store everything for now. Right, time to go in and grab a cup of tea. On the way in, I found Amory feeding the pea chicks. They're pretty mesmerizing, aren't they? They really are. Yeah. Really are. Just gonna go feed Ruby and then uh, gonna go make another fire for the guests. A nice fire in the winter salon. Oh, they're too cute. They really are. So tame as well. Yeah. Well, this is their home. Yeah. Oh, Thor's come now. Good to see you, Thor. Spud is considering joining in. Yeah, they're quite. They're quite scared of the peacocks. Yeah, the, it's definite. The definite hierarchy, and the peacocks at the top of the pecking order here. Yeah, definitely. But it's nice to make sure the uh, pea chicks have had some dinner. Yeah, they eat first. Yeah. Fine. Well, Gerald, I hate you leaving, but you're coming back week after next. I am indeed, Jeb. I'll be yes. back in ten days' time. And then again for Christmas. So yep, yep. You just steady the boat till I get back. I'll try and keep it steady. You know it's not easy. Not at all. <laughs> you don't drive without my bag. I need my passport. Yeah. You drive very, very carefully. I will have a Be super hard. safe journey. I love you, Gerald. I love you too, Stephanie. Oh, I hate seeing him go. This little backpack. Well, I guess I better head home to keep that ship steady. After the epic fuss that they made last time, I have stopped at McDonald's to get cheeseburgers for Amory and Dan. I think I was in real danger of them not getting them for me anymore. I'm putting that right now. Josie, can I say how marvelous it is to come home to this? <laughs> <laughs> and Rebecca, welcome. Thank it's you. very, very lovely to have you here. And you're here from Latvia? Yes, I am. Great. What's the pork pie? <gasps> it's, I prefer to use my own tin at home. I don't like your tin. Oh, I'm so sorry about my yeah, tin. Very, yeah, you should be. <laughs> I'm going, when I, next I come, I'm going to bring you mine. Actually, Daddy has a good one, uh, one of the double, you know, the double That's ones, it. an old That's one. Yeah. The sort of Christmas cake yes. ones. Yeah, this is a thin and one. And then getting it out of the tin. Of course, the mm. pastry tore at the bottom, so I had to plug it so that the jelly didn't... Yeah, didn't come out. But yeah. it looks absolutely beautiful. But the thing is, how is it going to taste? Well, we're going to find out. You're going to find out. If there's any left on the plate, I want to know why. <laughs> I have to say, though, come on, pork pie and chips. What a night. <laughs> Pretty much my I know, my grandmother nights. would have been horrified if she'd seen me serving a pork pie with chips. Well, I'm delighted. <laughs> this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Well, it's perfect with chutney. Oh, my. It's looking okay. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It's looking very Night, good, some even. Portman Mason's chutney that somebody sent you. Henry, look at this. Now, that's a pork pie. Now, that is a pork pie with Portman and Mason chutney. What a night. What else? And chips. And chips. You're not going to get, get Heinz ketchup with that, is it? Oh, we have to choose now. I was oh. so scared when you and Dan said that you wouldn't get me anymore. That you might have had a mutiny. <laughs> yes. We might have literally. Yeah, I was really scared. We would walk. <laughs> well, I tell you what. I'll save one yeah. for Dan. Keep it for Dan. Keep it for Dan. <laughs> Thanks. Now this does look excellent. Have you been into the pork pie yet? No, I'll try no. the chips first. Um, I've got, you can't... Yeah, the chips. No, they chips are first. brilliant. It's so good. That it's is, so good. Thank you, Josie. Pie. Thank you. You're going to get the recipe for this. Oh, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> I can't believe you did this for me on my day off. I have the best cousin in the entire world. Have fun, relax. Bye. Enjoy. See you later. Today is my day off and my cousin has brought me this strange massage machine, which I've never seen before. And it's like incredibly good fun. I'm not sure I'm wearing it properly. It seems a little high. I think I should be. Oh, no, nope, that's my bone. <laughs> I think I'm going to be having fun with this all morning. Oh, this is amazing. 
It's too nice a day to stay in all day. I can see all sorts of fun things outside. Dan and Amri have been wandering around. I want to go and see what's going on. Dan and I are debating the plight of the new box hedging. We just don't know what's happening to it. Do we think that could be the caterpillar that we had? No. So it's basically all the new box are going brown like this. Yeah. Even though they've been in like a year now. Yeah. Right over there isn't as bad, but they're still not great. So and we fed them box feed. We Yeah, I know you've really looked like, after them. So I don't know what it could be. There's something wrong down here. Uh, we've checked about box flight and stuff like that, and it doesn't look the same as that. Here we go, Davey. There, there is a close-up of the situation. Hmm. Unsure, because that's that's the caterpillar, isn't it? What's going on over there? That's different. So this is what the caterpillar does. Nasty little thing. And that's different from the yellowing ones. Yeah. But if you notice, it's only the ones that are established are still green. And yeah. It's all the new the ones. The new ones that are going. I just like to point out the ones I planted that are good. I'm feeling well, pretty smug right maybe now. Maybe you should be out here doing the garden. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice try. <laughs> There's definitely something weird going on over here because you're right, you know, like, look at those tiny little lavenders. They're barely yeah, growing. No allium came up here. No, before. no allium. There's something wrong with the soil over I there. Kirsty suspects because the soil's a bit smelly as well. Is it maybe smelly? Maybe something to do with a septic tank. You'd have thought that would have them grown marvellously. I don't know. Um, okay, that would be really, really worrying. Yeah. And good to get to the bottom of. So right. I think we'll send this soil test off and then we'll see what comes back from that. Yeah. Oh, look, look behind you. Mm. You're having a bit of a Dr. Doolittle day today because I noticed you've also got the cockerels watching you work. Yeah. All right. See you later. Bye. Bye. Every time I come in here, it's just a little bit tidier. It's really just, sweet. But it's crazy though how long it's taken to actually get a little bit tidier. I think it's quite quick, actually. What's all of this? Uh, these are jigs. These are jigs to make different kinds of profiles. You're such a man. Like if I went into a new place, I'd be putting cushions and flowers and... But that's your strength. This is this exactly, is, this is... But that's your strength and this same. is my strength. It's yeah. the same, just the other side of the same thing. So it's just, they, they go all the measurements on, so which cut ahead I need to put on, how far the fence has to be set back and what height the column okay. has to be at. And just getting the extracts that are put together, yeah. Yeah. And take it all apart. Okay. The motor going to make sure that it's all working and... Yeah. So dust free and wood chip free and yeah, we've got then if I'm using softwood and just softwood, then we can keep the bags for the chickens. Perfect. As for bedding. Yeah, perfect. Bedding. Yeah, That's having, really great. Instead of having to buy it, we've got yeah. our own wood. wood oh chips. look, I've <laughs> seen this bit. <laughs> You're adorable. It's, it's nice to keep things tidy. I like it. Yeah, yeah it's nice. I wish I was as tidy well, as you are. You give me a space, I'm not going to trash it, but I've got to keep it tidy. <laughs> you know, you give me a space, so it's got to be kept nice and clean and tidy. I love summer weather. Natty, it's boiling. It's a bit different with what I'm wearing. Yeah, I know, honestly. Wearing. You're, you're dressed for the weather, Amory. What is going on? I'm going for a walk. Yeah, but you'll be boiling. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Even the boots are cool boots. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going for a walk. Well, I'm not going come? to worry about you getting too cold. <laughs> Actually, the sun is beautiful, but yeah. it's not sunny. It's very chill. Are you going for a walk, Steph? Nope, I'm going in. Are I'm going to go and look at the plans that I got from the architect. <laughs> See you later. Okay, bye. As I have the luxury of a really peaceful day today, I think I'm going to spend some time looking for wallpaper samples for Natty's new apartment. I'm going to order lots and lots of things and then Natty and I can go through them all together. This is my idea of heaven. And actually, just as I was about to sit down, I noticed that, look, these are the original plans from the 19th century for the remodeling of the main courtyard. And they didn't do as much as they planned. They haven't made the building quite as tall here, still have the tower, but that's one story shorter. But look, they had not planned for any shutters. So I think we're really moving in the right direction. Right, now to look at wallpapers. I'm loving this one from Little Green. It's a soft pink, a beautiful chinoiserie design. The design dates from the mid 1700s. I think it would look beautiful for Natty, but there's thousands more to look at. This one I've definitely ordered a sample of. It's time for dinner with the guests and I've gone full on 80s tonight. Oh, and Dan the Gardener came as Daniel Preston. Looking very smart, Dan. You it's do scrub up stuff. well. It's just my normal stuff. <laughs> 
And where's Amory? I saw him go past looking pretty slick as well. Yeah. Where's my cousin? That looks really pretty in here. There he is. You're looking really lovely. Is like, everyone to be I there? I can dress up. I do wear other clothes than just work clothes. <laughs> so does Dan, apparently. Yeah, you both look great. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is Josie's onion soup with a crouton. This looks really good. <laughs> and neither Amory nor I have the slightest idea what the main course is, so it's surprise night. Ham. There is ham. There is ham. You know, oh. Oh, it's gammon night with a white onion sauce. And, oh, is that fennel? That looks great. And roast potatoes. Huzzah. <laughs> Huzzah. <laughs> I nearly ate this before showing you all. I was so excited. It's a delicious cheesecake from Josie. The meal has been incredible. Just went out of dinner for a moment because Josie's leaving really early in the morning. We won't see each other then. And I want her to see the Fortuny fabric. She's been asking about it because Josie loves fabrics. We really have that in common. So I want to look at it with her. This shirt, oh my goodness, it's beautiful. I love my shirt. It is Gorgeous. The last bit of colour since it's the last night. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I wish it wasn't your last no. night though. So this well, is the fabric. I've, I'm dying. Yeah, not exciting on this side. Way better on that one. Yes. Oh my God. I know, it's oh amazing. Oh my God. Oh. oh God, it's just as beautiful as I expected. It's heaven. Yeah. Oh. Where are you going? Where? Do you where know, you I don't to know, because I'd like to put it somewhere where it can be enjoyed by everybody. Yeah. In a communal area, but it's not that much fabric to it's do enough. walls there. Oh. And I've got quite a bit. I've got a good 20 metres. It wouldn't, there's not enough for the Grand Salon when it's... No. Yeah, so I'm wondering about that little tiny sort of entrance hall next to the Grand Salon. You know, the, the, yeah, the, the foot of the stairs. One. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the foot of the beautiful. stairs, I could do something there on the walls and curtains. Oh my God. It would really actually needs to be on a wall. I think so. But yeah. Because it catches the light in a totally different yeah. way when it's flat. It's exquisite. Mm. I'll come back and help you batten it on. Oh yeah, thanks. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'd have fun with that, no, I think. No, no, no. Yeah. No, I, would. I love it. Me too. Oh, it's beautiful. Just amazing. I was going to use it in my bedroom, but it just seems a bit of a shame to hide it away when it could be seen. I think it would be totally selfish. <laughs> <laughs> and that's something that you're not. <laughs> Can I just say, your onion soup was mind blowing. And the cheesecake. Oh my god, the whole thing. Amazing. Oh, I thought I was quite proud of the cheesecake. But oh, it was good. Yes, but you'd certainly need some digestive biscuits from the UK to make it. And you haven't got them here. No, I didn't need them. It was, honestly, it was perfect. Was it? Yeah. Oh, I'm not just saying that. It was oh. perfect. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you very much for such warm hospitality. It's been a joy. And kindness. It's really been a joy. Joyful. It's been joyful. Yeah. It has. I can just recommend everybody come prepared to laugh. It's my last night here. Delicious. I've been here nearly a month. It's the most exciting place to come to. <laughs> you get such characters. <laughs> You've got Amory, who is everybody's gift. <laughs> who is just a master. He's funny, he's witty, he's got his own vlog, and it, uh, he's got a thing that follows him around. <laughs> <laughs> it costs a lot of money, I can do <laughs> It's a wonderful place to come to. I'm leaving with a heavy heart, mm. but um, definitely going to come back. Yeah. I think I passed the natty test, actually. <laughs> You've done well, then. Even I haven't. <laughs> oh, yes, you have. Unbeknown to you, you have. It's been lovely, Josie, yeah. honestly. It's, it's been, been a joy. It's been being here. It's delicious. It's not easy shopping in uh, France. You don't have waitrose around. <laughs> you don't speak French. <laughs> I, I, I don't even speak French. I took Latin. <laughs> yeah, my father said, what will you need French for? You're not going to go to France. He said, Latin will do you far more good. Well, 
never used it once. <laughs> so good night to everybody. Good night. Good night. A huge thank you to all of our patrons who make this vlog possible and the Dauphins and Dauphines of La Land. Yadeland, Ether, Alice, Alan, Dan, Banda, Wailing, Banshee, Brandon and John Michael, Cecilia Begum, Denise Behrens, Snell Banakovich, Jill Bidwell, Candice Blackburn, Candice Ned Borkowski, Clara Butcher, Paulina Calabro, Chloe Chalacani, Lindsay C. Chelton, Matthew Chupp, Stephen Sarah Cole, Linda Sue Concepcion, Erin Conklin, Jimmy Conley, Zoe Dork, Sylvia Dem, Jim Demersman and Richard Patton Nord, Sakura Dennis, Zane Dixon, Jason Dubby, Jackie Ellison, Nicholas W. Fairfax, Tracy Ferrari, Caroline First, Kevin Fossum, Abigail Grant, Fifi Greenberg, Crystal Hardy, Brenda Harris, Delane Holbrook, Kim Hasselhoff, David and Tong Henderson, Camilla Herrera, Jacqueline Holmes and Ken Bates, Priscilla Hubler, Sandra Hawley, Melissa Jansen, Brian Kelsey and Phil Burnt, Jimmy Kemp, Nadia Kennedy, Lisa LaForge, Dave and Summer Lalan, Morgan Lawley, Angel Leonard, Victoria Lapine, Janet Toff Lombard, Marina, Frank Martin, Grant and Erin McLoon, Meredith, Robert Miller, Joanne Morton, Karen Nicholson, Kathy Norrie, Maureen Palmer, Ellen Person, Wendy Piatek, Frank Poposki and James Snow, Tamara Price, Armin Rahman, Tonya Renee, RJB, Bettina Rojek, Hanny Ross, Mary Ryan, Elizabeth Scanlon, Sven Schreiber, Lisa Schultz, Jennifer Shanks, Rebecca Shorrock, Carl and Laurie Siebert, Teresa Sloan, Annette Solverson, Patty Suhu, Susan Stevens, Monty Stapora, Sabrina, Sorette, and The Leaf House, Sarah Thornton, Colleen Troyer, Renee Valelli, Victoria, Jessica Walker, Brandy Walton, Laura Watkins, Lucas Wallen, Cheryl Whitaker, Linda Reist, Christine Wilson, Winnie de la Cockapoo, Greg Wood, David Young, and Lodovico Zordonazzo.